Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy LSU 254, man. Tune in for another one. Let me show you what we got going on here. So, as you can see, I'm trying to take out this motor. The boat is stripped. Probably because I didn't took this shit on and off so many times. Or using a power tool on it when it really wasn't necessary. Whatever. Milwaukee got me hooked. I just be zipping shit off. But either way, um, I gotta go to the store and get a tool to get that off. In the meantime, look at that hood. That hood just, ooh, beautiful. But yeah, man, trying to get the uh, windshield wipers to stay down or whatever. So we can do that. As you know, in the other video, you know what I'm saying? We got the dash took out. You know what I'm saying? Gonna get ready to do construction on that. But, like I said, we gotta go get that tool this morning so we can put this this wiper motor in. And I figure while we got it, we could take we could take these batteries to O'Reilly's. Because that's the only parts store I go to. Wink, wink. <laughs> so yeah, I can take that up there. And then I can also take the starter. Take the starter that I got. I got it from a junkyard. It's for, uh, it's for the cutlet swap, I guess. That's the only one that need one, so. It's for the cutlet swap. We're gonna see if, uh, any good so let's go all right so we just got back from the store as you can see i have here a new battery uh those two batteries tested bad um so what what they do or what they can do is they can give you ten dollars per battery On the recycle program and then uh, you can get <clears throat> yeah they give you like ten dollars per battery if you just recycle them but you need one for a core of course and so that's what I did so I use one for a core one for ten dollars off got a brand new battery this one because you know the C10 mm, technically kind of needs a battery the battery in here hasn't really given us any issues, but being that this is the battery that's going to be the battery that's in the car that's going to be moving the soonest, uh, I figured that I would put this in here. You know what I'm saying? New battery with warranty versus, you know, rocking with the Optima. Now, like I said, the Optima really hasn't gave us no issues. However, comma, uh, yeah so better safe than sorry new battery it is what it is so also like i said i didn't get all the way off track uh i did pick up these z zeon i believe that's what they call hold on this joint is mad braid hold on all right there we go we had a little bit of exposure compensation on it was mad braid that's better that's much better so yeah, as you can see here, we got the power built, uh, AP Z9 socket set. Uh, it is specifically for uh, standard rusted uh, damage or rounded off. So rounded off should be our category. Uh, we're gonna see what it do. So let's see what happens. Uh, I started to do a now you see it now you don't type shit. But let me let me get off in here with it. And try to get you the best little angle. I think I'm gonna need two hands for this though. For the best result. For 
this one, I might cut you off and then cut you back on in my spray wave voice. <laughs> So that wasn't necessarily working, but I do have results. As you can see the blue of the boat is still off in the thing. Came from around the rubber, but now it's got it to where I can get my hands on it. So technically, Technically, I guess we didn't even need them other tools for them sockets. We didn't end up using them, so. So, yeah. Boom. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, so as you can see, that boat is all the way around it and fooled off. So, we definitely want to make sure we don't use that one. This one, I think, is still pretty good. But, off the donor car, off the donor car, what I did was I took three fresh three fresh boys three fresh boats know what i mean so we good to go so i'm gonna slap this on man and hope for the best all right so got the new new word motor this is the last time for real this time y'all yeah, like if it don't work then we just gonna buy a new one but since i ran across that 1990 i had to give it a try to see what's happening so Let's see what happens. Key on. We got action. She sounds strong too. She lock in position like she's supposed to. So let me get the windshield wiper put on and then we'll move to the next. Alright, so got the arm hooked up. Make sure that it's functioning the way it's supposed to. So now as you can see, got the different speeds. Turn it off. And now we can go get us some of them good fancy windshield wipers. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Alright, let's get these arms put on. Uh what I did because not pointing any fingers, but I believe when the guys came to do my windshield, buddy buddy bent buddy bent my uh windshield wiper blades so I mean, it could probably just be, you know, bent back easily in the place. No real big deal, but <clears throat> watch well, settle for that. And we just throw a new set on there. So, actually, as I'm looking at these, like we could probably throw some paint on these bitches. What y'all think? Maybe we can paint the other ones. We can paint the other ones. Let me know what you think, man. Should we throw some paint on these? Moments I'm at. And if we do, which color should we go? Like a silver? Put them back silver. What should we do? Try to find something blue. Let me know. All right, let me get these put on and then uh, go from there. All right, so <clears throat> coming back around to the front of the whip, as you can see, got some stuff missing. Radiator's gone. Old radiator. Uh, new radiator that is going in. 
Uh, wasn't necessarily nothing wrong with that one, but this one was like newer. It came out the LS Swap box of it, so I was just gonna run this one instead. Uh, still hadn't been able to find a part number off of it. Uh, maybe now that I'm working at O'Reilly's, I can find something. QHO2 was probably like the most that we found. Um, like I said, it wasn't, wasn't much of anything to find. So, um, I guess we're gonna unplug this. See what the hell this, unplug this line, see what the hell it go to. Why oh, they got it plugged off? Because if I'm not mistaken, that could be the overflow. Um, our overflow. From the throttle body to run right to it. So, if that's the case, then we'll undo it and then go from there. So, let's find out what's going on with that. Also, uh, not only are we swapping out the radiator, but uh, way back when we installed the motor, kind of caught the front of this. So, uh we're gonna try to try to bend that back out if we can if we can't if we can cool if we can't i mean that's fine too uh it is what it is it's not a it's not a showstopper uh it just makes it to where we can't necessarily tuck the radiator back up under there like it's supposed to be so we'll make it work see what happened i'll cut y'all back on all right so that wasn't nearly nowhere as bad as i thought it was gonna be i thought it was gonna be a little difficult to bend it back but it looks to bend back just fine so let's get this radiator installed uh we're just doing this radiator shroud fan thing for now you know eventually down the line we're gonna put electric fans in here but, but right now right now we're just doing the fan shroud and stuff. So let me get this put together and we in now. All right, so we back under the hood. <clears throat> As you can see, we got a fan shroud on. The fan kind of stick out. I don't know if it's extender or whatever. I'm really not worried about it because eventually I'm gonna go electric fans. Like I said, this is just for now. So yeah, no need really just worrying myself about oh how i'm gonna make it fit uh cold air intake i did see some solutions at the job uh where i can just buy like a shorter filter or something uh, like that i'm probably gonna take the pipe into work next time i go and see if i can find something that fits so yeah so now got the funnel on there you want to make sure even though i didn't the even though the engine wasn't completely empty of coolant uh, you still want to fill it from the top because the thermostat is now at the bottom. That's the lowest. It's no longer the highest point on the on the engine. So what we'll do, we'll fill it up to the top first, and then uh, we'll top out the radiator. Which at that time, I'll go ahead and I'll pull this off, a little line off, and see if something comes out of there where the little red tip is at, <clears throat> and then I'll know. If that's where I can run my steam vent to. Let's go.
All right, so as you can see, man, is running. Seems to be doing okay. Uh, like I said, eventually we're gonna find out what that part number is of the radiator. Uh, I did pull this off. It is leaking coolant, so that will go to uh, that'll be our uh, bypass or whatever. So it just has to be a smaller hose. And then run that smaller hose right there to the bottom of the throttle body. That should be good to go. Alright, so one last thing and then we're gonna wrap this shit up, man. We're gonna throw this battery in here and then call it a day. Alright, so old battery. Well not necessarily old, but older battery versus brand new battery. That 2019 thing. 2019 thing. And then we're gonna get this off in here. Make sure our terminal's gonna line up the right way. Negative on that side, positive on that side. Okay. So yeah, we should be good to go. So let's get this tightened down and crank it back up and make sure we're good to go. So out of pure curi pure pure curiosity. This battery tray naturally is on this side of the car. And as you know, we put the battery on this side of the car. So I couldn't get my battery tray out, but from the junkyard, I found a battery tray. So I'm just curious if, when, or how it, it could fit off in here. Maybe. Twinkle, twinkle on the start type shit. Yeah. So it looks like if we take those two bolts right there out, then it should be able to sit down. So let me get my, let me get that Milwaukee thing. All right, y'all. So we got the new battery installed. Grab the keys, crank it up. Like I said, this one is going in the C10 or the Cutlass, either one. <laughs> That battery is good, and then we do got that other good Optima, so it's not that big of a deal. That's a crank up on a dime, crank up on a dime. I did a little work on the inside, too. Uh, as you can see, I gotta finish tucking these wires, but see, this is the light from the OBD2 from the uh from the computer so i kind of ran and hid the wires behind here and so they tucked off right there so that's enough for this morning man i'm gonna go chill out the rest of the day so it's your boy ls right two five four man remember identify your weaknesses make it yourself life is all about choices choose wisely and productivity over procrastination Gone.